and welcome to Pear City Talk. I'm Mudian Abu Jalala. Today we are in Craft Dog Show, which holds for the first time in Fremantle. Let's know more about this event, what it aims for. Join us for today. It's been one of those weeks um, which has been pretty exciting around um, Fremantle being uh, number seven in terms of the places to visit in, in 2016. There's there a lot of hype around that, but it was, I, I just want to say something about that and because it connects back to, why, to all of you here today. Because I think Fremantle made that list because it was an authentic place that had an amazing, and obviously you've got a great background of, of heritage buildings and beaches and all, all, all those good things, but it also was a place that actually had a sense of community and a, a sense of quirkiness about it that you can't construct, that your, your normal tourist cities don't get. And I want to say first thanks to people like Georgie for really being part of that. Things like, things like the markets, which we've had obviously down at Bathers Beach, soon coming to South Beach, events like today are the things that make Frio unique and also the fact that you as a community turn out for them. Today looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, there's going to be a lot of cuteness, which I've already seen, and, um, but also uh, I, I hope that there is a, a really great competitive spirit out there. May the, uh, may the best dog win and um, may you all have a huge amount of fun. Thank you. for these dogs because they get really badly treated and often when they're rescued they've got broken, broken legs and broken tonks so um, we're shaking it in for Greyhound Adoptions WA and we just want to have a fun day with dogs we love dogs. And yeah. for more details about today the category is of the competition. So it's really just a silly silly show so we've got a competition for like the scruffiest dog because it's called Scruffs. Biggest dog, smallest dog, cutest dog, best dressed dog, best Halloween, best hairdo, best costume, the cutest puppy, cutest puppy, and other oh, oldest dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we, we're, going, we're going to make up a few as we go along, so maybe we'll have the fluffiest, yeah. maybe the shinies, depending on we've got quite a lot of uh, prizes. So what are the prizes? Away. We've got great prizes. We've got um, a photo shoot from Viva, it's worth about two, three hundred dollars. We've got free consult, consult with vets. We've got dog food. We've got lots of toys, dog toys. We've got um, some food. Uh, this is the first event it's called Dog Food. Yeah. Yeah. How the idea? Yeah. The idea is um, in England there is a dog show called Crux, which is very, uh, very upmarket and very exclusive. And, um, so this is just taking, making a bit of fun of, this is called Scrubs, which is the other end of the, you know, the other end of the um, spectrum. So it's just really just a joke. We've got a, a dash and race at 12 o'clock. And um, for me, that's going to be hilarious. So just the idea of Daxons running and their little legs. I think it's going to be really funny. First of all, congratulations for Fremantle for putting the 10th place. Oh, yes, thank you. you know, tell us about that. Yeah, so um, the Lonely Planet uh, published a guide each year of the 10 best places to visit in the whole world um, for, for, for 2016. And in this case, Fremantle came in at number 7, which was pretty amazing. So, um, um, yeah, so look, we're really proud. Sitting alongside cities like Rome and Mumbai and others. Yeah, I've, um, having little little old Frio as part of that is a, a big honour, but what's, what's something we're really proud of. Uh, let's talk about the event today. Uh, what, what's the aim of this, this event? How it's going to add for, for Fremantle? Yeah, and I think these are these are the kind of events that make Fremantle. They're events that bring community together, 
make people kind of uh, get to know their neighbours, but also, you know, celebrate what a great place we have. Here we are, we're next to the beach, uh, and in, in, in a beautiful, beautiful suburb, surrounded by, by great friends and people, and that's what today is all about, really. Yeah, when we have talked about financial economy strategy, the five-year yes. strategy, you've talked about uh, uh, making financial attractive uh, yes. for, for tourism. Yes. Uh, so, what what coming events like like this one? Yeah, that's right. So, the, what we hope Fremantle to do is to be a city of festivals, where you know that every weekend there's always something different in Freo you can come down and be part of. So, this is actually part of the Fremantle Festival that's running until November the 1st. Um, and then, um, but then we actually are playing, we pretty have events and festivals almost every month in Fremantle um, that, that will bring people not only from Fremantle, all across Perth, but, but hopefully all across the world to come and visit Freo. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. brought you here today and uh, what's your part in this event? Well I think we are the people who are going to get um, whatever funds come out of the gate today which is great. Uh, the organizer Georgie adopted one of our greyhounds about 18 months ago and um, she is so impressed with her greyhound Honey that uh, she's put on this event with us being the main benefactors which we we certainly need the funds because our vet bill is always very big. Is it so hard to find adapters uh, for the dogs in their care house? Well, I think because we work really hard, we go to events and markets and festivals every weekend. Uh, we have about three this weekend, including South Fremantle Market tomorrow. Um, that the hard work pays off because we're nearly up to our 200th adoption and that is a record for WA, it's also a record for a number of the other states that have greyhound rescues. So how, how many dogs do you have now that you have? Uh, in foster care at the moment we have around 40 dogs. We take in about four to six every week and we take the dogs not just from trainers who train greyhounds but also from uh, veterinary practices where the dogs are left to be put down. Do you expect, as an as a, as a adoption house, do you expect any support from the local government? We don't really get a lot of support from the government. We are based in the Rockingham area, um, but our foster carers are all over the metro area. Um, it's um, difficult to uh, get funding unless you're going through huge bureaucratic hurdles to get that funding. Uh, we are a registered charity. We would really love to get some corporate sponsorship, some companies that would like their names in lights as being um, sponsors of Greyhound Adoptions WA. I'm Frank Cannon. I'm from uh, one of the uh, volunteers from Greyhound Adoptions. Uh, what brought you here today to the event? What's the aim? Oh, uh, to money raise money for the for the greyhounds. Uh, how much do you think you might raise? Oh, it's it's a hard question, but we've uh, rattled quite a few tins and we've raised quite a quite a bit of money today. Usually in such events, um, what's the outcome? Quite good. People are quite quite generous with their time and money, and especially for the greyhounds. For the money. Well, it's money to go to the um, veterinary bills for the, the injured dogs that we have. Uh, any dogs that are in foster care, um, the organisation um, takes care of the vet bills that uh, may arise. Thank you. No worries.
I'd love a singing dog. This is great. This is a great trick. Now. short break, stay with us and we will know more about the categories for this event. Um, I want to play with my dog here and he's having fun here. Um, we did some races but even though he didn't win, he's my dog. And we got him dressed as a pirate but then he took it off and um, when every time we kept trying to do it, he kept taking it off so we didn't put him and we didn't re register um, for the um, competitions and um, like we got him dressed up as a pirate. Um, we love we love taking him to competitions, even if he doesn't win. At least we had fun. Uh, Dr. Brad, uh, tell us about yeah. your dog and your butt stretching. You, uh, <laughs> so this is Missy. She's about four or five years old. I'm not too sure, <laughs> but she's around that age. She's a good girl. She wanted to be a pumpkin today. Oh, a hat's fallen off. Hang on. Put a hat back on. So yeah, she's a pumpkin today, just to have fun here at um, Scroft's for its first year. And um, yeah, we just thought we'd come and have a bit of fun. Congratulations for the winning. Thank you. Uh, so how, how exciting you are. It, very, very. Um, well, my name's Katya. This is Myrtle and Wrigley. She was the one that won the smallest dog today. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. And this is her mum, Elsie. And Elsie's just happy for the day to be almost over. But uh, no, she was the smallest adult dog, 4.6 kilograms. And I think perhaps mostly because of the shortest legs. How old is she? She's, our Myrtle is 14 months old, so she's fully grown and um, quite an athletic little girl. This one runs five kilometres four times a week with me and uh, I think that surprises most people. They look at these dogs and they think that they sleep all day, but they let you know very quickly. Give them a job or they'll find one for themselves. Uh, what made you come here today and participate in this event? the Jackson race. The idea of seeing a group of sausage dogs all running together just sounded like the most hilarious thing that you could imagine and then of course they had the dressing up competition and I think people who love dogs we all tend to go a little bit overboard but you know they're members of our family and they give back far more than than we give them. Are you planning to participate in each event whenever there is? Well, we did. We went in the smallest dog. We went in the dress up. So they had their little party dresses on and they walked around as party princesses. Um, we didn't think going in scruffiest dog was a good call. Mm -hmm. And we also gave oldest dog a miss. But they did do the race. Um, Elsie got three quarters of the way down and decided to leave the course and go off and explore something else. So it wasn't terribly successful. But we did manage to take home one of the prizes and it's, it's really quite lovely. It's a um, nice sort of woolen mat that they can both sleep on. There's no way I can separate them. And some toys and some treats. And I imagine the toys will last all of 15 minutes. <laughs> Congratulations for today. Thank you. Thank you. We've had a great time. It's been a fantastic event. And I don't know how, but I'd love to thank the organisers because it's just, it really has been wonderful. Thank you. Thank you.
brought you here today and how do you think these events would be um, good for dogs? Okay, so we live locally um, and that, that's really important, I think, to hold these events locally, especially to highlight the dogs that need adopting, um, specifically the greyhound dogs who, once they've performed in the greyhound races, they often then are sent for rehoming and I think they're... Um, they're a lovely dog, but there are a lot of them that need rehoming. They don't need as much exercise as you would think, and they're a great family pet. Uh, we know you missed the competitions today. Yes. But what competition you were, what category you were planning to, to join? Oh, well, we, when we looked through all the categories, he didn't really fit. He's not a puppy, um, not the, um, but we did think he would probably be good in the Halloween costume, although my husband's not that keen to dress him up in Halloween, Halloween outfits, but next year, I think, we're coming back for the Halloween best costume, I he, think. He could go for the cutest dog. Yeah, well, I think so. I think he'd get cutest dog, but... Yeah. Thank you for being with us. Oh, my pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Um, my name is Mel Prashak and this is my miniature dash hound Gertie. Um, she entered the cutest dog today, um, or the cutest puppy I should say, so it was under 12 months. She's uh, 8 months old and as I said she's a miniature dash hound and she's about to enter the dash hound race as well. So we've been training very hard for that. <laughs> Um, I think events like this are really wonderful. We were quite excited. It's really nice to have community get together and support, I guess, local businesses and for dogs to hang out together as well. How exciting you are today and are you planning to keep participating in such events? I was actually super excited. It's quite silly. I was very, very nervous. I don't know why. This is our first competition. Um, so, you know, we were a little nervous, but super excited and we'd absolutely come back next year. Thank you. No worries. That's all for Pear City Talk for this week. We'll see you next week, same time, same channel. Goodbye. <laughs>